Hi, I'm Joe Muscolino, and I'd like to share with you a teaching tip to help your students learn the anatomy of a muscle. I learned this tip from a wonderful massage therapist in Michigan I'd like to share it with you now. What we have here is using plastic wrap as well as some red licorice, shoelace licorice, we have made the simulation of a muscle. If you take a look at this, what you will see is on one end, we have the plastic wrap representing the, the tendon of the muscle, and on the other end, the other tendon. Of course, if instead of it being cord-like, if it's broad and flat, we would call it an aponeurosis. This plastic wrap we see on the outside represents what is called epimyceum, which is a deep fibrous muscular fascia. If I pull this epimyceum away, what we see is that the muscle is actually made up of a number of bundles called fascicles, bundles of muscle fibers that are each surrounded in the same type of deep fascia, but here around the bundle we call it perimyceum. If I take one of these bundles, one of these fascicles, and I open up the perimyceum, then we will see that inside the bundle are a number of individual muscle fibers. Each one is surrounded again with the same fibrous fascia, but now we call it endomyceum. Putting this back together, we will see that when you put the individual muscle fibers here, the endomycea combine together with the perimyceum of this bundle, then the perimycea of these bundles combine together with the epimyceum of the entire muscle. So we can see that the tendon or aponeurosis of a muscle is actually made up by a combination, a melding together of the epimyceum, all of the perimycea of the fascicles, and all of the endomycea of each individual muscle fiber. So for this reason, the tendon of a muscle is truly integral to the muscle and cannot be divorced from it. In fact, nowadays, many textbooks are now calling these not muscles, but either myotendinous units or myofascial units. Thank you.